All right, I'm back and uh, set up all my equipment after DEF CON. Everything is intact. Everything made it back. And I, I wanted to sit down and, um, well, I have been sitting down uh, and playing with the Porta pack that I have. And then I also uh, wanted to follow up on the SDR Connect software that SDR Play released, like right prior to about me getting on the on the plane. Uh, also wanted to touch uh, touch on the War Dragon box that uh, that I talk about occasionally on on Twitter and not huge on uh, on advertising, uh, but I figured you know what uh, maybe there's some people out there that want a pre-configured um, box with Dragon OS. Uh, I, I'm trying to go above and beyond and um, put other additional software on there that I can't nor I can't make in the ISO like in this case. The Kraken SDR software I've, I've been, you know, putting on there. Um, yes, it does come with a default username and password, but of course you can you can change that if you're familiar with Linux. And let me think, what else? Uh, yeah, really, just trying to add more and have it all working out of the box uh, on a PC that I'm actually uh, I'm actually real VNC uh, streaming. Uh, oh, I should point out uh, that there is a uh, uh, optional uh, installed uh, a remote desktop uh, service that uh, you know is on the Dragon Box. Not not installed. There's some directions there. Um, well, actually, the README that you see right in front of me is uh, what kind of comes with the the Dragon OS uh, on the uh, War Dragon Box. So, anyways, I won't hit on this too much. I just want to point out I am recording on it right now. Um, that's what I'm using to make the video and we'll go through some of the stuff um, that's on there or that's possible with it and that's the link so if you want to check it out check it out uh, I think you might like it I don't know how long I'll be doing that but uh, yeah they're there well at least two of them for right or, or left so all right anyways uh, SDR connect so SDR connect uh, there's couple videos I saw SDR play already put out so I won't go too long into the into the software I just want to show how to get it on a dragon OS and then a few things that you can do with it uh, in this case I have the RSP DX here I've got two antennas hooked up to it on the antenna a and antenna B and the porta pack that the um, Hacker's Warehouse uh, gave to me while I was out at DEF CON is sitting here and it's got my Hacker F inside it and when I say port pack what do I mean? Well port pack looks like this you can get it at the Hacker's Warehouse um, I have no power uh, from USB being applied to the Hacker F it's, there is a battery inside uh, at least I think if you're in the US uh, the battery can be sent and so the Hacker F is powered up and the uh, firmware that is flashed is this Porta Pack Mayhem firmware version 1.7.4. Now, this firmware uh, I will be uh, baking in, making it available in the new Dragon OS ISO that's gonna that I'm almost finished with. That'll be in there so that you can flash back and forth from the Mayhem firmware to the original HackerF firmware that lines up with basically the lib HackerF that's in Dragon OS. So in case you have any issues with running the Porta Pack uh, Mayhem firmware, even though even when you have it in HackerF mode, if you have any issues, you have that other firmware you can fall back on. Okay. Um, and so back to, let's get things uh, started here with the SDR Connect. How do we get that? Well, there's a PPA repo that I have that I try to maintain. You can see five days ago I uploaded SDR Connect. Um, SDR Connect, I've just wrapped it in a deb package so the uh, installer is still intact. Uh, I've not altered anything. And if you install the PPA, which I'm thinking about maybe just including in the default ISO, just copy and paste these commands into a terminal then you should be able to simply open up and install SDR Connect after a sudo app update. Now I already have SDR Connect installed and when you go to install it like this it's going to still ask you to agree to SDR Play's terms 
and it will ask you a default location. If you leave everything as is and install it, uh, I also have a desktop that will get copied over under ham radio. And funny thing about ham radio is when I was at uh, DEF CON, I actually stopped at the ham village and I didn't say much because I got to be honest, although I got the ham radio tools in here, uh, I'm not, I, I don't know uh, all the ins and outs of all the software. Uh, but I did find it funny that I asked if anyone knew of, of Dragon OS, and uh, they hadn't. Uh, but that was only two people I asked. So, um, But I can't say anything because I don't know a lot about uh, all the software that probably uh, everyone in that room was using. So I'm not going to uh, go too in-depth uh, on one particular tool I thought I'd show, which I finally got working, is uh, FL Digi. And I'll get there in a second. Let's start with SDR Connect first. <laughs> so SDR Connect, uh, we can see it already recognizes my RSP DX. Um, just want to, oh yeah, that's that's right. I just want to highlight like, hey, the CPU, the 12th gen CPU that is in this uh, War Dragon box is it's just crazy how fast it is with the uh, sample rates on some uh, radios. Uh, the Lime SDR had over 30, 30 mega samples per second. Uh, the Air Spy full 10 mega samples per second. Uh, decoding uh, Iridium ACARs. Uh, the, the Ball Geek uh, was able to to test and, and uh, you know validate uh, some really good performance there. Uh, I'll just give him a shout out. And uh, yeah, I've been I've been messing with it and everything I throw at it, it uh, runs crazy fast. Um, and you can check HTOP and it still has performance left to spare. So let's take a look at the SDR Connect. I'll quit. Uh, let's see. I'll change over to Antenna B, which I do have hooked up to an external antenna. And I was messing around with the bands, so let's come down to check out broadcast bands. We'll go to FM, that's an easy one. Uh, I'm wanting to say, oh, okay, so I have it off of uh, automatic gain control, but we can try it on. And let's see. Headphones plugged in. Ooh, let's see. Oh, so uh, I might have messed with something earlier. Um, Okay, anyways, I muted it for a second. So there's 10, what do we have? 10 mega samples per second. Let's see, each top. So this is, you know, with everything VNC connect, SDR connect running. Yeah, so there you go. You have a kind of an idea there, and it just varies, you know, SDRs, uh, SDR software. Okay, so let's uh, let's switch over to what I was going to do here. We'll jump over to low, and we'll hit 30 meters, and we'll change this back to antenna A. And I'm going to leave it on this mode CW. And what was interesting is on the uh, Mayhem firmware under transmit, there's Morse code, and I thought, oh, okay, so let me try out Morse code here. Uh, and then that led me to ham radio again, FL Digi. Ooh, let's see. All 
All right, so obviously I've got something uh, that FL Digi is not liking, but you know what? What's a video without learning how to fix something? So let's try dragon.config. Think where would that be? Hmm. Right there. Home um, dragon dot fl digi. Well. Bye bye for now. Essentially all the configuration. Might as well show what it looks like anyways when you start it up. So I just uh, went through, skipped a lot of this, uh, did uh, port audio, fine, should be fine, and enable. Uh, yep, not really using that. Not using that right now. I'll just hit finish. I'm mainly looking to do CW. And let's turn the audio back on here. So we got some indication of audio coming in. Now I'm not really too concerned about the frequency because I'm not I'm not controlling um, a, a rig or anything of, of that nature. I'm just having the audio uh, piped in. And let's see what else. We'll see if there's anything else needed here in a second, but really what I wanted to show is, okay, minimal configuration here. Obviously, you could tweak it further. Got SDR Connect running. Over here on the port of pack I want to do Morse code. I've got an attenuator going into it, and I'm going to go stop. Or, I'm sorry, I'm going to start. So I can see I'm getting, let's see. Oh, wait a second. Aha! <laughs> Needed to change that op mode. All right, let's see what we get now. Oh, okay. This is looking a little better. Let's try one more time. All right, there we go. Got it. Port a pack. Now, obviously, I'm probably like, well, who knows? I'm probably butchering a lot here in the, in the setup. You want to be careful. You don't drive too much power into the into the radio. Uh, you know, I didn't see any indication of overdrive or, or anything that was too high. Probably a lot more that you can configure in FL Digi. I'm not going to claim I'm an expert there. I uh, really just wanted to show, hey, this software is in here. So if you're in the ham radio uh, and you have a port -a pack and you do everything correctly, uh, you shouldn't um, damage anything, but you obviously always want to be careful. Uh, and, you, and you definitely don't want to just be transmitting things over the air uh, if you're not uh, licensed and you don't have the proper setup. So uh, I think I hit everything that I... That I wanted to hit. Just uh, thanks again to Hackers Warehouse for the Porta Pack. Uh, actually used it today to uh, verify my garage door opener was working, or, or the transmitter was working. Uh, SDR Play for the RSP DX here is working really well, and then SDR Connect. Oh, I know what I wanted to show. So, say you want to um, say you want to run like a server client setup. Let me think through this here. So. I think I can run it for it. Let's see. SDR connect. I think. Let me think. Let me think. SDR. It's actually it's actually written like this, I believe. SDR connect dash dash server. Okay. Let's 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 do this. Let's cuz I think it's already taken over by the fact that I had that running. So Okay, so 
all right start the server first now obviously you wouldn't like need to do this all in the same machine but i'm just showing for um, purposes of this uh, video right now uh, let's see if you started the um, server first elsewhere and you had access to the network you could come in here and you can say edit server list we can add one yep 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 save uh, let's see New server, okay. Come over here, hit refresh. Where is my server? Interesting. Okay, so IQ audio. IQ is probably going to obviously use more bandwidth. Audio. Um, that's interesting. So uh, I wonder in some cases uh, the DSP. I guess maybe with audio is maybe happening on the remote end and just sending the audio over versus uh, or the IQ just sends everything over and has the host machine. That's that's my assumption. So let's do IQ. Connect to antenna B. So there we go. We're connecting to the server, which in this case is the uh, on the local host. Pretty cool. So now it's just uh, streaming from the uh, server. So just imagine that's somewhere else on your network. All right, cool. I think we hit everything. Hopefully, uh, hopefully that makes sense. All right. Thanks for sticking with it.